So lately on my perimeter lockdown, I've been going crazy. If you don't understand, I've been going crazy catching crazy oops. And you're only supposed to be able to catch crazy oops on this build. But I'm going to show y'all something today for any build. When I say any build, it don't matter what you are. You could be a ball hawk 60 overall. You will still be able to do this. So look, I've been going crazy. People been throwing me oops. People weak. With no type of passing ability, they can throw me oops. I'm over here still catching them, look like Blake Griffin. I'm out here going crazy, just jumping over people's heads, just doing crazy dunks. So today I will tell you and show you how to be able to do this. You know, in 2K20, tendencies are very, very, very important. The thing about 2K20 tendencies compared to 2K19, they lowered 2K20 tendencies. If you don't know what a tendency is, that's when how much or your player can do, or basically how often he does it. So if I have a 60 tendency, it's like a uh, 60 out of 100% chance that I will catch the oop or end up doing a lamp animation, but you can change that all with one simple thing. So I'm gonna show you in this video. As you see, I'm going crazy with the oops. My perimeter lock has an 83 driving dunk. Just keep that in mind. This is my 99 overall perimeter lock. He has an 83 driving dunk. So look, look, look. With him having an 83 driving dunk, you will see his driving dunk tendency is under. Let me get this right. Under 30. How about that? And that's not good. If I got an 83 driving dunk, why am I not able to dunk? Why am I not able to catch oops consistently? So look, I'm going to show y'all this real quick. Look, I'm going to show you this is the 99 overall build that I'll be using for my perimeter lock. This is the one that catches the oops, catches the crazy lobs, do the between the legs, dunk on people. If somebody got Hall of Fame uh, on court coach, I'm dunking on somebody. Because I will show you how you can get contact dunks as well. Almost any build. But you got to have at least an 82 or something like that. 82 or 81 driving dunk at least for this to even work. But if you're a build that doesn't have this, this will still work for the alley-oops and the dunks. So pay attention, very pay close attention. As you see, this is this 80 overall build that I'm gonna show you how to do it on. Since it's already on in my perimeter lock 99, I don't feel like doing it over on this. I might as well do it on the 80 overall to show y'all. So check this out. With the 80 overall, I'm gonna show you the stats of the tendencies before I even upgrade them. I'm only gonna upgrade certain things that I will only use. So the first thing you wanna do is go to features, then you wanna go to create a roster. Then select 2K roster, the official 2K roster. That's the only roster you wanna click. So look, look, look. You wanna hit start or options based on whatever console you want, start or options. Then you see it's an X right here. I can edit any NBA player. But now you wanna join off one of your friends from the park or whatever they, as long as they're in the park, join them, it doesn't matter. 90% of the time, you're not gonna be in that park anyway. So that doesn't even matter. As long as you join off a friend just to get inside the park, that's all that matters. But if you're trying to do this on a different build, say if you want to do it on my 99 lockdown, I would have to get on my 99 lockdown first, close app, and then go back to the main menu just to do this. So as I'm going into the park, I will tell you this now. I bet you 90% I didn't even get in the, in the park that I just chose. I already know 2K. They're not going to put me in the park that I chose. But anybody that's still watching this video, make sure you drop a like. Let's get this video to 450 likes. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Put on post notifications. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? This will change your whole my player point of view. Think about it. A playmaker shot creator catching consistent oops, doing crazy dunks. I'm going to show you how you be able to do crazy dunks. Because it's another way that you can keep them dunks without having you purchase them over and over and over. As you see, I'm in the park. Yes, I'm in the park with my 80 overall. As you see, 80 overall perimeter lock. As you see, I'm not going to be in the park with the homie. The homie that I actually selected, I didn't even get in his park. I told y'all. I literally told y'all I wouldn't be getting his part. So first thing you wanna do, you wanna go to stats, then you wanna go to rosters. As you see, it's an X by my name. You're gonna flick your right stick up on certain things that you want up. But right now I'm gonna up, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put my dunks up and my ball control, just to show y'all. This is the main thing, dunks and ball control. So I'm gonna raise my dunks all the way to like 90. Not even, I'm, cause 90 is the all you need to be able to get the crazy alley-oops, certain things like that. So I'm gonna put it on 90. I'm gonna put my ball control maybe on 100. You never know. I might put it on 90. That's all you really need. On my perimeter lock, I should only have at least a 68 ball control at the most. But right now I have a 42 since he's only an 80 overall. And this is a whole different build. This is like a, a prelude build. This is not even a build that I made after prelude. But check this out. After you do that, hit triangle. Then you're gonna mess with the tendencies. As you see, my tendencies are kinda high when you get right here. Or actually, it's kinda super low. Let me get that right. Super low. But when you get to the three-point line, actually like the three-pointers, that's when my tendencies get to 100. Since mine's a lockdown and sharp shooting pie chart, it's gonna be half and half. But look, 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 look. When I show you these dunks, 
When you get to the dunks, you'll be amazed. I only have an 83. On this build, it's only like a 79 driving dunk or 78 driving dunk, but that's still enough. Look how low my driving dunk is. Look how low is my alley-oops. My driving dunk, my standing dunk is horrible. 2K, this should be way higher. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise this all the way to 100. I'm going to raise all my dunking all the way to 100. Not all of it for right now, but just in the case of the video, I'm going to raise it just for 100 for y'all. So anybody that's asking, does this stick? Yes, this does stick. So anybody that's going to change these, you can also take them off if you want to. But these does stick. So if you want to be able to catch oops, just raise it all the way up to 100. Raise your dunks all the way to 100. It's up to you. You can change other things in here. I ain't going to get all into it. You can change the tendencies again. Put back so you can change the tendencies. So this will help your player as well. If you lag out the game and you in there with your teammates, he won't act stupid. He won't just sit on the three-point line when he's supposed to be in the center. It's supposed to be in the paint. Or he don't sit in the paint when he's supposed to be on the three-point line. This will help as well if you do lag out of games and your teammates, like, if you run with a consistent group, if you lag out, you won't have to feel that bad because your CPU is playing like dog. So, look, as you see alley-oops, alley-oops, I'm going to have to raise these. Alley-oops has to be raised because alley-oops are the main thing. But anything else that you want to do, you can just mess with it if you want to. But also, I will show you how to equip the alley-oop animations or the dunk animations that you want and keep them. So anybody that's trying to get their next upgrade, this is the perfect time to do this. So when I did this, I was a 99 overall. I was already at 99.9 or 90, one of those, I was like 99.9 or 97.7, or 99 one of those, one of those, I was right there. So once I did this, I played one micro game and this literally stuck. My animation stuck and this, but you know, they don't show when you actually put them on. Once you have them on the first time, it shows. But once you play that game, it disappears, but it's still on your player. So anybody that's doing, trying to do this, say if you're at 95 overall, then you get to 96, they will stick. That's all I'm going to tell you. They're going to stick. But play that one micro game or part game. But I prefer you to play a micro game because that's the only way I know how to do it. But let's get into these animations. So I'm going to go into the animations. They were on an 80 overall just to show you. As you've seen, I had like a 40. I had like a 40 driving tendency, but my driving dunk is like a 79 on this player. A 79 or 78. So look, I'm going to show you the contact dunks. See, I raised my contact dunks. My, remember, my driving dunk is a 90 now. Since I upgraded my dunk to get a 90, you'll be able to do this. You can add them if you want to, but this is nothing I'm going to do it unless you got somebody on the court that has floor general. But look, alley-oops. Most of y'all don't not able to get the elite alley-oops, so this is perfect. So this is why you raise your dunking, your driving dunk to get the elite alley-oops. They do stick. Now, park alley-oops. Most of y'all cannot catch park alley-oops. You can, but you are not able to get them. As you see, my perimeter lock, he has an 83 driving dunk on a 99. So look, you'll be able to catch him. At least, if you got at least a 75 driving dunk, this will be perfect for park alley-oops if you want to catch any of those crazy lobs or anything like that. At least have a 75 or something around a 78. If you got a 75 or 78, anything above 75, this is perfect for you because you'll be able to catch the lobs. Sometimes you will miss the dunks, but if you want to put on certain dunks, I don't know about that. You still will be able to do certain dunks if you put the dunks on. But remember I told you play that one micro game. They will stick. Don't change them. They won't pop up if you try to change them. It will still say normal whatever or whatever it was before. So if you're trying to change the drum rules, make sure you have to do this all over again. Just remember... Upgrade the ball control or upgrade the dunking just to change the styles, just to be able to change your animations. So every time you try to change your animations for like dunking, you don't like certain dunks, you will have to do this all over again. Just change the dunk animation once you upgrade it back to a 96 or a 90 overall driving dunk or ball control, you upgrade it all the way to a 90 overall. So look, when you get this, as you see the audit, because they took like 5,000 VC. 5,000 VC just to catch oops is not that bad. And oops are very big in this game. As you see, I can get almost every dribble move in the game literally by raising my ball control to 90. Even though I'm not going to keep the ball control because it only lasts for one game. It only lasts one game for anybody who's trying to do this. Ball control only lasts one game. Dunking only lasts one game. But the tendencies stick. So anybody that's trying to do the tendencies, make sure you keep those. Those will automatically stay on your player. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Put on post notifications if you haven't yet, but make sure to go follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Put on post notifications on my Twitch. Please put post notifications on my Twitch. I'm going to start streaming more on Twitch, but I will stream at least once a week on YouTube. And so keep your eyes open for them streams. You never know. It might be a stream popping up this week. So make sure you put on post notifications on the YouTube channel for you don't miss streams like that. I will be playing on my Playmaker Shot Creator or my Lockdown. You never know. But it's been your man, Shama. I'm out, y'all. Peace.